Welcome to the Commercial Car Training Tutorial. My name is Denisha Wheeler. And I'm Erica De Jesus, and thank you for joining us today. Today, we're going to provide you with an overview of tenant participation, the proposal submission process, the purpose of the commercial card, and an overview of how to use the commercial card. We have over 260 resident associations recognized by NYCHA, and they each have a different identifier. The term referenced in the HUD regulations is resident council, and it is understood that each variation of the reference is one in the same. So let's begin. Before you obtain the commercial credit card, you must have an active resident association recognized by NYCHA with the current executive board term and the following requirements need to be met. An executed funding agreement signed by both the RA and NYCHA, a current annual spending plan, an EIN number for the association, if you want an EIN number printed on your RA's card, an external bank account for the association, an email address for the primary cardholder, and a different email address for the secondary cardholder. The purpose of the commercial credit card is to allow RA the ability to make purchases for approved tenant participation TP expenses, such as materials, supplies, or services. Prior to making a purchase with the commercial credit card, the RA must obtain NYCHA's written approval of the RA's annual spending plan and tenant participation activity proposals. Here's what we will be discussing. We'll start off by identifying the key points, then discuss the procedure, provide a sample of letter and commercial card. Using the commercial card, steps for setting up smart data, steps for uploading receipts, and finally, the quarterly reconciliation. Here are some key points to remember. The cardholder is the custodian of the commercial card who is authorized to use the card and designate another RA member who may use the card. This will be the RA president and a backup designee such as treasurer or financial secretary. The card manager is a staff member from resident engagement, also known as zone RA lead, who monitors and approves the cardholder's commercial card activities. The card program administrator is a staff member from NYCHA's treasury department who has the authority and security access to establish commercial card accounts maintain related internal controls, set up usage restrictions, distribute cards, and terminate cards. Eligible RAs will be issued a commercial credit card in the name of the RA, not in the name of the individual person. Once the card has been ordered and received by NYCHA, the resident engagement zone coordinator will notify the RA via email or phone to schedule the card pickup. Please note, the commercial credit card is a branded credit card with the MasterCard logo. The card is issued by J.P. Morgan Chase. Smart Data is an online management tool that helps both the RA and NYCHA effectively manage procurement and expenses. The RA will be issued a user ID along with the card in a sealed envelope with instructions to access Smart Data for managing the card activities. Smart Data will provide you with a temporary password via email from MasterCard Worldwide. Please do not delete any emails you receive under MasterCard Worldwide. Once you receive the commercial credit card, you must activate it by emailing and or calling the card program administrators. Details provided on the instruction sheet to confirm that the card is in your possession. This is an example of what you'll be receiving in the envelope the letter along with the commercial card. In using the commercial credit card, you are now able to make purchases in person, by phone, mail, fax, or internet for only on approved spending plans and approved TPA proposals. The shipping address for all parcels must include your name, title, association, and office address, including floor number if applicable. The billing address for all items purchased with the commercial card is 90 Church Street, 6th floor, New York, New York, 10007. You can utilize any vendor that accepts MasterCard. Cardholders should only utilize the card for purchases that reflect the approved proposal. Commercial cards may be used only for micro purchases that cost $5,000 or less. 
RA should refer to the Tenant Participation Funds Resident Council Guidebook for details related to eligible and ineligible uses. Retain all receipts, packing slips, receiving reports, delivery tickets, order forms, or other documentation supporting charges against the card. The card holder ensures that all transactions are posted properly on smart data each time the card is used. The card shall remain in a secure locked location when not in use. Now we'll talk about the steps for setting up smart data. Step one, log into the website smartdata.jpmorgan.com. Step two, enter the username given to you via email by Charmaine Stevenson. It is also provided on a separate sheet of paper in the sealed envelope given with the commercial card. Step three, enter password. A temporary password will be emailed to the card holder from MasterCard Worldwide. Step four, you will be prompt to create a new password. Step five, you will be asked to select three security questions and answer. You will need to remember the questions and answer as you will be asked when signing on to Smart Data. Step six, the account setup is now complete. The cardholder must email Charmaine Stevenson for card activation at charmaine.stevenson at nycha.nyc.gov, also provided on the instruction letter. Now let's go over the steps for uploading receipts onto Smart Data. Step one, scan and save the receipt to your email as a JPEG, PDF, or PNG document. Step two, Log into Smart Data with the username and password, then answer the challenge question. Step three, on the Smart Data home screen, scroll down to Review Required section. If there are transactions that require receipts to be reviewed or uploaded, you will see the amounts on this section. Note, Smart Data usually updates a commercial card account within 48 hours of a transaction. Step four, Click on the More button. Step five, under Quick Link, click on the development name. Step six, under Search Criteria, select the date ranges and click Search. All transactions to be reviewed will be listed. Step seven, to add a receipt, click on the symbol that looks like a cloud. Add receipt by clicking on Browse. Click on the Save Receipt, then click Open. Your file will appear under the Select a File. Step eight, click Add, and now your receipt has been uploaded. Step nine, click on the Review box and click Save. Step 10, transaction is completed once the Review box is locked. Quarterly reconciliations. No later than six weeks after the end of the quarter, the resident council must reconcile its expenses for the quarter and submit its reconciliation and all supporting documentation to its resident engagement coordinator. The purpose of the reconciliation is to adjust the resident council's projected expenses, the cost estimates included in the spending plan with the resident council's actual expenses. If the resident council fails to properly or timely submit a quarterly reconciliation, NYCHA will suspend TP funds until all expenses are accounted for and all supporting documents are received. In the event the resident council spends more than it is budgeted, it must adjust its spending plan by reducing the budget elsewhere. Please keep in mind your receipt should be legible and itemized. If you encounter a receipt, that's not itemized, please tape it on a sheet of paper and indicate items purchased. This example will show you exactly what we are looking for and will be accepted as a completed reconciliation on Smart Data. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. For further assistance, please contact your zone coordinator.